don't know. It's time to level up. It's 2020. Period. Welcome back to my channel. As the title states, I'm about to teach you how to glow up on a period. We're gonna work on the outside today, but in a few, I'm gonna show you how to get the inside looking as well as the outside, okay? We're talking about health videos, we're talking about workout videos, and just inspirational, motivation type of videos. So I'm so excited about this new journey, but today I just wanted to get into this look. Like, show you guys how to, you know, flex on that boy usually you know you need to make sure your hair is popping too sis let's not forget about this the wig that is on my head right now is actually from julia hair i will list their information in the description box below this hair has been my rod or die the past like i want to say two weeks it's just been giving me so much life and i actually have bundles from this company and a wig from this company so i decided to actually create a wig for myself using their bundles and i'm so happy that i did it because you know usually if i get bundles i try to do like little ponytail styles but i have other um ideas for ponytail looks coming up in the near future so they're pretty funky too and it's like really cool because you know it's 2020 and we're gonna you know try to spice it up a little bit so a lot of you have been asking about this wig this is the wig that was actually in my try on haul and a lot of my photos on Instagram so like I said their information will be listed in the description box below if you're interested All right, so let's begin the makeup part of this video because this is a outfit hair and makeup team today I already used my milk hydro grip primer look you need to get you this this hands down is the best primer you can ever ask for in your life you know why because look you know how a lot of people be like what are primers actually doing i just feel like i'm just putting another moisturizer on my face or i feel like i'm putting spf on my face i like do i really need this because i put my spf on i put my moisturizer on why do i need to make sure i put this on because you want your makeup to last long, period, point blank. You want to be able to blur out your imperfections. They're blurring primers. They're like primers like this, which I don't really know the consistency of it, but it's a really grippy primer. That's why it's called Hydro Grip, but it's like really hydrating. So that's why it's called Hydro. But look, they have a travel size range. So Macau is way too red for me. It works in some time when I am a bit um, redder, but look i mix it with my lancome but my lancome is a rider die i always find that these two work the best i'm not sponsored by any of these companies but let me tell you they're bomb.com so i'm in the shade the cow and Lars, and i'm in the shade 460 suede w and i also have 470 um cool from this line but i believe i ran out of my cool one so anyway these bad boys are going to go on the back of my hand i'm going to mix them up i like using just a squirt of the nars and the majority of the lancome so i like just putting it on the back of my hand and this is just going to help the product warm up on your uh, skin and it's going to make it a lot more flawless on your face so the best technique for foundation is obviously to cover up the parts of your face that needs the most coverage and then blend that in but that doesn't mean go ham all over your entire face you don't need pounds of foundation to get a, fl a flawless face you just need to have the right technique for foundation to get a flawless face so remember that because i was the person that just was applying foundation all over my face for no apparent reason because i didn't need tons of foundation on my forehead or tons of foundation on my chin and by the time i was finished doing my whole mug i was like so i have this so juicy one from color pop i told you i'm into lip glosses guys so bear with me i'm gonna use this one because it still has that pink tint and i don't want to lose the color and i also don't want to use like a dollar lip gloss because the dollar lip glosses can move your whole lip around and you don't have time for that but you do need to do this with this one because it can feel like it's taking a powder that is semi close to the color down here because I don't want to use anything that's too warm because it's going to defeat the whole purpose of even doing what I did in the first place. So this color just kind of like, it's like maybe one shade darker than what I used. And um, it's just going to help blend everything in. And mind you, I'm also blending it into my contour or my uh, bronzer. So I don't want anything to be looking too crazy and clockable, you know? All right, so I'm also going to set the sides of my nose and down here too, or up here as well, because I don't want it to look oily. And I'm just going to press whatever is underneath here in with this flat brush and this is just a simple old L foundation brush so here's the inner glow magic wand okay so this is the uh denise myrix beauty illuminating veil highlighter and this is a liquid highlighter in the shade goddess um i picked mine up from morphe and then i'm going to tap this in on the high parts of my cheek and i want it to be damp because i don't want it to stick to any of this powder that i have on my face with this product if you are going to put it on top of powder 
I like kind of like making a line with it. I don't try to make it like really wide and big. The lighting in here is kind of crazy, so you might not be able to sell. You might not be able to tell, but this does go pretty nice with what I already have on my face. So I'm gonna set my face. I actually picked up a setting spray, a real true deal setting spray. I haven't got this in so long, like so long. And then I'm gonna apply my lashes after I do my hair. Cause I don't want my hair to get in the way and snatch one of my lashes off. All right, so I'm gonna set up my hair stuff, move all of this makeup out of my way, and we're gonna do hair together. Be right back.
So the last thing you need, girl, is a really tight dress. Mine is a little ribbed, and it has like these little buttons that like accentuate my body, and it got me poking in the back, and it's all the way down to my calves, so it doesn't look like I'm forcing it, you know, trying to look too, too sexy, but like, you know I'm sexy anyway so it's gonna look sexy you know type of vibe you don't gotta break the bank just to let this nigga know like he made a mistake you know or he played with the wrong one because that's usually what it is they played with you and now you gotta move on level up be that bitch that you know you're capable of being know your worth thank you guys so much for watching I will list Julia hair information in the description box below all the makeup products will be listed in the description box below in the order that I use them in so the last thing you need to tie in this look is a popping pair of shades okay so I didn't I don't know you we never dated sorry I gotta go I gotta run I added some more layers in here because I just felt like she needed to be layered everywhere honey um I have a vision for their wig I'm really excited to do what I plan on doing to it so make sure you turn on your post notifications so you are notified when I upload another video you now you only live once don't beat yourself up and the heartbreak only lasts for literally like two weeks okay two weeks sometimes only seven days especially if he was really a fuck let me feel lucky lucky let me catch up my pleasure